Welcome to the opening day of the Cardinal Classic from Louisville, Kentucky. It is a gorgeous 80 degree Thursday night in March as South Dakota out of the Summit League is in town. Slaps it right to the shortstop. And the double play ball is there. Boy, they need her extra base power. Chelsea Mack slaps at the first pitch, and the first baseman's foot is off the bag. That's Delaney White. And so the leadoff runner is aboard for Louisville. Her delivery is lined into right center field and passed to Diving Velada. Mack rounds third, gets the wave in. Louisville takes an early 1-0 lead and a head first sliding triple for Daisy Hess. Wall, Hess has the speed to get to third base. Louisville on the board early. Bouncer over to third. Jones on to first. They get one out. The throw home is not in time. It's a productive out for Frizzell, and Louisville takes a 2-0 lead. Off speed, got her way out in front. Strikeout number one on the day for Izzy Harrison. Looped over towards foul territory right side. Frizzell cups it and makes the third out. Robert Wagner said she's had some growing pains, but she's been great for us this year on the first pitch, though. That's out to center field, and it bounces off the top of the wall for Gabby Holloway, who ties the game as Allie Alexander comes around to score. Ninth pitch of the at-bat from Boo. Lifted in the air in left field. It's got Garrity chasing back near the warning track, and she makes the catch, crashing into the wall. No pain, no gain, right? Squares around a bunt. That's Jones who lays it down. Boo, the throw to first in time. As your offense starts coming around, that's right where they want to be. Cuts right through it here on the 2-2. The strikeout for Sam Boo and a really important second out. Yes. Riley Frizzell rolls it over to third. Jones has trouble with it. And after a bobble, does not have a play at first. 2-2 from Young. It's low. Runner takes off. Forsyth is in there. Tying run is in scoring position with nobody out in the bottom of the fifth for Louisville. We talked about it earlier in the game. South Dakota has only thrown out four would-be base stealers all season. That is the 41st base they've given up. This throw on the third base side. 2-2, two, two, that's lashed into right center field. And it gets down and bounces to the wall. Forsyth gets the wave. She scores. Here comes Miller. She's in. The runner is out at third. That's Richardson. But Louisville gets two, and the Cardinals take the lead. Away from top five, Duke coming to town. That's a laser down the left field line, and it's fair from Paige Garrity. A leadoff single. Louisville trying to add some insurance runs here in the bottom of the sixth, up by one on South Dakota. Mack lays down the bunt. On to first, not in time. Riley Jones can't make the pull. Ripped into right field, and it's down in fair territory for Hess. Garrity's in to score. Still two runners in scoring position for Louisville, who has added an insurance run here in the sixth. 3-2 from Young. Frizzell bounces it through the hole on the left side. Mack is in. Here comes Hess. She retreats back to third. It's an RBI single for Riley Frizzell to make it 7-4 Louisville. Vanessa Miller, first pitch swinging, skies it into left center field, has Iverson back on it, and it bounces off the base of the wall. Hess scores. Thatcher's into third. At first, so it's got to be indisputable evidence. Ball in glove. And foot on the bag. I think this one might get overturned, Carol. Well, it looks like it was a nice play by Grant to really stay down and scoop the ball. You're kind of looking when it's in the web and it's closed, and clearly it is. It's a nice play by Grant. South Dakota trying to piece together anything they can here in the seventh, and it's a cold strike three on the inside corner. White skies it out to right field. Miller's there, and that does it.